Danny Pedrosa said, Marquez has a problem, he can't finish corners when exiting. He overtakes in braking but, compared to when he was riding the Honda, you can see he has problems in some phases. Mark Marquez said, the Ducati has a lot of grip at the end of the corner, whereas I was used to skidding before. He's going into his summer break in third place in the overall standings, with 166 points against Peko Banyais 222. Despite falls and ups and downs, Mark Marquez's first season wearing the Team Grazini colors is becoming to be interesting and probably above the expectations of those who thought he was already at the end of his rope. Coming off a glorious podium finish in the Saxenring GP, along with his brother and teammate, Alex, the Spanish writer still has some details to take care of before he becomes one with his Desmosetisai. And it's precisely those missing elements that Danny Pedrosa, now a commentator for DAZN, focused on. In the last races, I noticed that Mark was able to overtake more when braking, especially at the apex. But, in comparing this with his period in Honda, you can see that he can't close the line, as he'd like to in the final part of the curve, and this leads him to widen the trajectory, therefore, leaving an open space for those who follow, the Catalan writer analyzed. Faced with such an observation, the eight-time winner agreed with his colleague and explained more the reason. At that stage, the wheel behind pushes, and you have a lot of grip, while I've always been used to having little, so I was skidding. When I try to adopt my style with the Ducati, I always ended up falling, or I ruined the new tires if I was going for a fast lap. So that's why now I'm very cautious on the end of changes in direction and overtaking now and, if I feel I have to widen the line a bit, I do it. Mark Marquez insists he wants to stay at Ducati beyond his new two-year contract. Marquez sent shockwaves through the 2025 MotoGP rider lineup by winning the chase for the official Ducati. He will partner Peko Bagnaia while Ducati have seen Jorge Martin, Inia Bastianini, Marco Bezzecchi, and the Promac team depart. Marquez, currently 31 years old, will be the second oldest rider on next year's grid. He was asked if his latest contract will be his last one in MotoGP, but he told Speedweek. You never know, but I don't wish for it. When I feel competitive, and competitive means being in the top six at every race. Very competitive means being in the top three. To win a championship you need all the tools, you need all the things in the right place. That's not the case for me at the moment. But I want to stay longer than these two years, even two years later. That desire would take Marquez into 2027 and beyond, the onset of the new MotoGP regulations. Those new rules might, in theory, allow a rival manufacturer to rise up and test Ducati's dominance. Marquez is still in the championship mix this season as a Grazini rider, although he hasn't yet won his first race on a Ducati. He is third in the championship, 56 points behind leader Bagnaia. Marquez is seeking a ninth world championship which would tie Valentino Rossi's tally. His first in the premier class arrived in his rookie season, age 20, beating legends Rossi, Jorge Lorenzo, and Danny Pedrosa. Next year he must fend off young guns like Banyaya, Martin, and Pedro Acosta. He was asked which version of himself had the harder task, and replied, 32-year-old Mark Marquez. When you arrive here as a 20-year-old, you know MotoGP but you don't know anything about what's going on. You just rely on your natural instincts, you fight against big names and you have nothing to lose. Nowadays, young riders come in at a different pace, without injuries, and with a natural instinct. When I follow Acosta, Martin or Banyaya, who are 5 or even more than 10 years younger than me, they ride in a natural way. Sometimes they don't think much about the bike. That can sometimes be positive. I understand that this is the natural process in every athlete's life. It's not like Marquez was better than Lorenzo and Rossi when he arrived. That year I was better. But every athlete has their moment. And once you get to the top, you have to work harder and harder to make the descent a little smoother. If you can do that, you'll have a longer career ahead of you. I don't know if this decline has already begun for me or if it will take another year or maybe two or three. We'll understand that in about five years. Ten years of motocross. On the other hand, a professional mountain biker impressed KTM after he was given a chance to ride their MotoGP bike. Fabio Widmer is an Austrian trials biker who has stunned fans with videos of his daring tricks and skills. He has attracted 7.8 million YouTube subscribers, where one breathtaking video of Widmer leaping off bridges and over cars on his bicycle has been watched 264m times. 
But his ultimate test came at the Red Bull Ring where he was a guest of KTM's MotoGP team. Widmer does have 10 years of motocross experience but even he was not allowed near a MotoGP bike without testing smaller versions first. He was told to the ride a mini GP bike, where his stop pies and wheelies proved that he had more than an average person's ability. It, and then it comes automatically. Widmer also rode a KTM RC8 then a Moto2 bike to slowly ramp up the speed and power. The next day, Danny Pedrosa arrived to talk him through riding a 2023 KTM MotoGP bike. I feel like I could just go and race, the super confident Widmer said. He later exclaimed, dude, the power is insane. And, and in general, Pedrosa, the most successful ever MotoGP rider without a championship and now KTM's test rider, was on track alongside Widmer riding a KTM Super Duke 1390R. After one lap together, Pedrosa shared a tip about the Red Bull ring. I will show you the secret line, Pedrosa said. If you follow that line, you will get your best lap time. Widmer lapped in 153 minutes on a MotoGP bike, around 25 seconds short of the lap record. I watched him closely, and it was perfect. I'm impressed, said Pedrosa. Widmer added, I'm aware that very few people get the chance to ride a machine like this. The most fascinating aspect is the way you can lean into the corners and discover what angles are possible. Although I was still a long way off achieving the lean angles of a MotoGP Pro, it still felt like I was already at the limit in some places. Widmer compared his day job to MotoGP, of course, if you break it down, the sports are very different. But if you make a rough comparison, factors such as balance, bike control, handling, the general feel for two wheels plus handlebars all play a role. Yeah. <laughs>